What's up Machine Freaks, hope you guys are feeling froggy fresh. And the last 3D Machines production, the really long one, people really liked it. I didn't see any negative comments, which I really appreciate. It kind of tells me that maybe I'm on the right track here. So, we're going to work on the go-kart today. You guys have seen this in the past. Uh, we picked this up relatively cheap. We did, Chris and I tore it apart and got it to run. However, there's some like governing situation where it, it'll go up in RPM. And then as soon as you get to like probably about uh, 7 eighths of the throttle, it will then come down to like 5 eighths to a half of the throttle. So something's just being governed weird. So we had like springs in here and everything, but I actually have the linkages. Um, the kid gave me the linkages that go with this thing. And we also have like makeshift air filters. I mean, there's nothing really wrong with that. It'll seal and it'll work, but that's not really you know, the most professional way to do it. Is that sucker going to be a 5 sixteenths or a quarter inch? I'm going to go 5 sixteenths. Son of a pop quarter inch. Why do I even bother? At this point of the video, you probably would appreciate if I told you guys that there's only a few hours left to the GoPro giveaway. Our winner for the dirt bike slash instigator was Jason S. from Tennessee. He's coming out later this month to grab one of his prizes and hang out. Uh, we will make a video so you guys can stay in the loop there. But yes, the GoPro is going to be given away in just a few hours. See how, see how what's going on there? And I think we've probably replaced that. That's the only thing I can really think that it would be. No, it's down here. Here it is. Here's the situation. Underneath the bowl here, we put this really small spring that's probably the issue it's just not strong enough because what's probably happening is we're you know we're punching it with our foot so with, with this cable here it's pulling over pulling that spring and then since the spring isn't strong enough the governor is allowing yeah so this thing actually came with parts and they're right in here which is kind of cool I haven't purchased a lot of broken things that come with the parts that need to be replaced. So there's a spring there, and they're even name brand stuff. There's a spring there, and then there's a linkage. That's crazy. Let's get there. Got a key. I think that's it. Yep. I took these pair of needle nose, and I cut that spring. I took about three quarters of an inch off of it. And put that in there instead of the other one I had here, the direct. This one I couldn't really get to work. So I took the spring, cut a little bit off of it, and now it's hooked up. And now if you watch it, uh, you can see that the throttle goes up. And I'm only about half throttle there, and then I can continue to pull, and that spring will get stronger. So it should hopefully overpower the governor and basically get rid of the situation that we're having where it lowers the RPM of the engine and slowing us down because we don't want to we don't want to go any slower. We're gonna go fast, fast, faster. So while I have these plastics off and while I have this box off, I'm gonna drain the oil. The oil bolt is right there. So we'll just unhook that, bring it back. I'm not sure if Chris and I changed the oil or not, but if we did, we'll change it again. Oil's cheap, maintenance is cheap. Pistons, rings, rods, they're expensive. That should work. Oh. So a 7 16ths 12 point will work. And that's a nice thing to know in the future. Oh, yeah, we didn't change the oil. Let it rip, tater chip. Oh, that's got clean oil though. Check this out. That's really clean. Oh, cool, we got spillage on aisle four. Just catching it. Yeah, that's clean stuff. That's good. Maybe we did change it. 
while that oil is draining, I was checking this out, and I definitely want to make it a little bit more pretty after we fix it, of course. And I thought that this piece was actually hooked up to this entire valve cover, but it's not. And what I think that is, and correct me if I'm wrong, but this is probably where they hooked up, like, at the factory, um, you, know, you know, like a chain or something, to put the engine on this go-kart, because it's literally just held on to, to uh, the valve cover here with these two bolts. So that's what I'm assuming that is. So what I'm going to do is, since we don't need that, and it looks rusty and crusty, I will just remove that, and then we'll just have the valve cover, and we'll just have to clean up this. Be careful with these things, they don't take very much oil. You can overfill them really quickly. So, I mean, the last time it, it ran good, it just wouldn't give us the full range of horsepower. So, I wouldn't mind changing the spark plug. The spark plug is probably just rusty on the outside, the inside looks good. Other than that, though, just take that off. But I want to make sure it, it runs right and take it for a test spin first. right here, got an old water bottle. Just gonna stab a hole in that, throw the gasoline in there. Let's fix that. <laughs>
Now, I don't think I've ever messed with brakes like this. This is like a lawnmower braking system, and I just remember replacing pads as far as I'm aware. But I think how this works is this bolt goes into like another bolt basically, and it allows it to spin, you know, that small little bit. So what I'm thinking is if I tighten this nut, it'll pull the whole situation up and then the brake pad will finally come in contact with this rotor here. PB today. I'm gonna try to tighten this up. What size is this sucker? It's big. Oh, you cockroach. Yep, making contact. Sweet, that's how it works. Tiny bit off. Uh, both the black cover here that says caution hot and the valve cover there Ah, that is hot Honestly, it looks better without that black cover on it I'm not going to touch that right yet. I think originally they had like a quarter inch bolt go through here and then you put a nut on the back side but I'm going to tap it 5 16 so that way you're not chasing a nut. Hopefully it works. Maybe it's already tapped to that. Nope. But that, that piece is relatively thick. And all it does is hang on to this piece of plastic here. I have some cutting oil right in reach. Might as well use it. That nut's got to be tightened up too.
There's that, and then there's our new bolt. Bam. I've also learned the technique on the primer bulb here. What you do is you put your finger already on it, and then you like jab it, and it'll prime in there. Can you see that? So that's working. Which means this thing could definitely be a one pole wonder. And I like that. I don't want to be pulling all day long. Nobody wants to be pulling all day long. Change the duct so we can cover this up. Harbor Freight Wobbles. <laughs> Slow and steady wins the race with these things. Now it's just time for reassembly. This nut. That bolt right there, that one is a sucker to get on. That one likes me, this one doesn't. because I didn't tighten it all the way after I put the clear coat on it. It's not that I don't want to go out and buy a new spark plug, but it's just an inconvenience to, you know, go all the way to a store for one spark plug. When that one's doing fine, it was just rusty and crusty. We're gonna be able to go and stop. The best two combinations ever.
all that's left is to really get that brake a little bit tighter. I just got done putting the last touch on the go-kart, so it's a little bit more froggy fresh. Don't forget, you guys, I am giving away a GoPro. Check out machinemerch.com or 3machines.co. Get in on that. When you win it, you'll be able to capture your moments on things like this. Enjoy your, the rest of your day. I just need to pressure wash this, but unfortunately, Cole stole my pressure washer because he made a mess at my mother's house. So otherwise, this thing would be clean. But at least she's ready to rock and roll. Yeah.